Hello, hi everybody. My name is Amjad Ahmed. I'm an extension agent of Sustainable and Organic Agriculture Program with CTAR at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Uh, today, we're going to talk about uh, potting tissue culture uh, banana seedlings. So, what I'm going to show you here today is a typical seedlings of banana that's been received from tissue culture. Tissue culture is considered a micro propagation method. And it's different between the macro propagation method, for example, taking the keikis of bananas, that's considered macro propagation. However, producing the tissue culture is considered micro propagation. The difference between them is, imagine if you are collecting the keikis of bananas, you're gonna take what, once or two keikis maybe a year? Uh, comparing with micro propagation, you can produce sometimes thousands within that one year up to 18 months or so. There are additional benefits for the utilization of the micropropagation methods, including, for example, when you're using a mother, that's the plant that you produce the tissue culture from it, make sure you, it's clean at the beginning from any diseases. You expect all the keikis you are producing are also clean. However, when you go with micropropagation, Keikis, usually, if the mother gets infected with, let's say, banana bunchit of virus, if it gets infected, the keikis will be most likely infected, but they're not going to show symptoms until about a month or so after. So you are moving the keikis because it's not showing symptoms, however, it's infected. That's why we recommend people, when you are taking keikis, make sure that the mother is not infected. If not showing symptoms, it doesn't mean they are not infected. Those tissue culture, when we receive them, if you look into the leaves very closely, they usually lack wax. Wax is very typical in banana leaves. It's a protection from the sun, from sometimes feeding insects and so on, or losing too much water. So the wax is a protective layer on the leaves. But when you produce tissue culture seedlings, the, the seedlings, they lack wax. And today at the end, when we, after we pot the seedlings, you are going to see us adding an additional layer or protective uh, plastic sheet on top of those seedlings to protect them from losing too much water. We're going to try to keep the humidity a bit high uh, uh, under the, the sheet cover just to make sure that the, those young seedlings are not suffering from stress. Also, what we are going to do is today, we're going to put them in these pots. They are about 4 by 4 inches. Those are, based on our trials, they are really good size till the seedlings are in good size, which takes about three months and ready to, for distribution. We're gonna pot them with some media. Today we are using a mix of uh, peat moss with perlite. We wet it a little bit, just to make sure it's enough moisture uh, for the potting media. Uh, now, someone will say, why are we doing this uh, video today? The reliance on producing tissue culture worldwide has been increasing just because too much diseases and you don't have really good varieties that they have resistance. Most, most of the bananas, they, they are available worldwide. They don't have a bunch of virus complete resistance. They are either susceptible or they have light kind of resistance, but all of them are susceptible to be infected. That's why worldwide they rely on producing tissue cultures from clean mothers to make sure the supply of bananas is continuous. And there is increased production here in Hawaii and reliance on them. And that's why we thought this video will be helpful to people who are working with tissue culture seedlings. Um, so what we do, very easy. Those are the seedlings again we receive. We're gonna add some media. Make sure that the roots are embedded in the, in the pot nicely. And then you cover them with additional media. These seedlings right now here, we're not gonna add, add any fertilizer today. Why? Because again, there is no wax and they are already kind of stressing out because there is no wax. We don't wanna add fertilizer and stress them more. Any fertilizer, no matter what, organic or synthetic, they are technically uh, salt. So you don't wanna add additional stress on the plants. What you wanna do, Put them here for, for today. We're gonna just add water, keep the humidity high, 
for about two weeks. And when we remove the uh, uh, extra sheet of the plastic, we're going to add fertilizer after. We have today about 150 uh, seedlings. And uh, what we've been doing is, it's a statewide program to supply all the local farmers with a clean uh, banana seedlings uh, tissue. Um, and these ones been funded by the Hawaii Department of Agriculture to support the local banana uh, in Hawaii because they suffer a lot, especially from the banana bunch of virus. The variety we are, we are working on today is the, uh, is the uh, apple dwarf Brazilian variety. It's the most common here in Hawaii and most wanted. And also, they are, they have a, a mild, I would say, a mild resistance to the bunchy top. But again, any variety of banana, no matter which one you work with, they, are, they will be infected if you don't control the aphids. And if you, if you have an infected plant, most likely it will spread into other, uh, into the keikis and also into others. You want to keep in your mind that banana bunchy top virus transferred by aphids when they feed on infected plant and then uh, they go and feed on a clean plant through that feeding they will give the virus so controlling aphids in the area where you are growing your banana is very important because they will transfer the bunch it up uh, we're gonna kind of speed up maybe the video at some point just to make sure that all the seedlings were filled up and then we're gonna come back again and we'll show you how we cover them aloha thank you Aloha everybody, welcome back. Uh, we just finished potting the 150 seedlings of banana. As you can see here, they are fully potted in the uh, mix of peat moss and perlite. What we are gonna do right now is we are gonna irrigate them very well to make sure that they have enough moisture uh, to survive because they will have a bit of time needed to adjust from being in a, in a kind of in an agar or in water into being in media. And after we irrigate them well, again, as I mentioned earlier, we have this plastic sheet. And as you see here, we have those kind of corners and we're gonna lay the plastic sheet on top. The plastic sheet, again, it's benefits to keep the humidity high around the plants. We don't want them to stress out. So we're gonna keep it for about two weeks and after that, we're going to remove the plastic sheet and we're going to get, get them to be hardened by kind of expose them to more sun. And also we add fertilizer so they grow faster. About, I would say about three months from today, we will be able to, the seedling will be in good size and we will be able to distribute, distribute them among the farmers. Again, this is a statewide program to distribute clean, tissue culture, disease-free tissue culture, bananas. I want to emphasize on disease-free comparing with disease resistance. When a plant is disease-free, it doesn't mean it's resistant. All what meant is that the, we, we made sure that the mother we used to produce them, they, are, they were clean of the disease, the banana bunch of virus, to make sure that all the seedlings are clean. But this banana can get infected again or reinfected again if it gets exposed to the aphids that transfer the virus, the bunch of virus. That's why we've been recommending to people after we give them the seedlings that to keep a low density within each mat and also to uh, use either organic or synthetic uh, pesticides to control the aphids to make sure everything is protected over time. And we will follow up before we give away these seedlings with the presentations to make sure people understand what's the meaning of low density. And also we give them examples of uh, chemicals, again, organic or synthetic to control the aphids and the banana bunch top. Aloha, thank you. We're gonna just cover them and you can just take pictures of it. Okay. And that's it. Okay, aloha again. So now we covered the seedlings with this uh, plastic sheet. The plastic sheet is just to make sure that the humidity around the seedlings are high. Uh, so we're gonna irrigate, uh, not very often, just because those seedlings, they don't need too much water, but they definitely need high humidity around them. We're gonna keep it for, again, two weeks at maximum. We're gonna remove the plastic sheet after, and we 
uh, increase the exposure of those seedlings into sun more and more over time to make sure they harden, add fertilizer, and they will be ready within three months to give away. Aloha and thank you.